you have to handle each and every one different, but my basic philosophy is you never, ever use a timeout till you have to. You save them. You keep them in your pocket. It really makes me mad when we've got 10 on the punt team and we have to use a timeout to get an 11th one out there. Um, in some cases, if Longo or Bateman say, Coach, I don't like the way we're lined up. Can you give me a timeout? Uh, I'm the only one that can call timeouts, but I'll give it to them if it's a critical situation. Just like if we're going to have to lay a game on a punt, we're not going to waste a timeout for that. We, we can gain that five yards because Ben's punting so well. If it's a field goal, you don't take timeout unless it gets you out of field goal range. So it, that would be the, the thing that would be determined by each game. Um, but – Basically, my, my thought is don't use them unless you have to and use your clock management because college football allows you to spike the ball. It allows you to stop on a first down. It allows you, when the ball's out of bounds, to, to stop the clock. All of those things, to me, give you a chance in college football to, to move the ball down the field.